the most beautiful places in Germany. Germany is a true fairy tale land, full of places that know how to enchant with their image book scenery. Especially now, when we can't take long and extensive trips, a day trip to one of these pretty sites can lift your spirits quite nicely. So, if you're planning a trip to Germany in the coming months, take a look at the must-see places and regions in Germany. Pack your backpack, grab your bike or hiking boots and explore some of Germany's most fabulous places. Let's get started. The Bavarian Forest National Park is one of the most famous national parks in Germany. At the same time, it is the oldest. Winding paths through ancient, sometimes fairy tale, sometimes enigmatic, rustic forests let you explore southeastern Germany on foot or by bike. If you want to meet a real park ranger without having to travel to Canada, you'll find it in the Bavarian Forest. The rangers will explain nature to you and gladly give tips on flora and fauna and highlights that you must see in the park. Did you know that you can still see the remains of the Iron Curtain here? While everyone is probably familiar with the Berlin Wall, many people nowadays don't know that the wall extended much further, of course. In the Bavarian Forest, you can find the remains of the Iron Curtain, fences and barricades that were meant to prevent people from crossing the border. History buffs are likely to be just as impressed by this as amateur photographers. But the latter will also be happy in many other places in the Bavarian Forest National Park. For example, in the Steinklam Gorge or one of many other gorges, whose magnificent waterfalls and crystal-clear mountain streams you can let your mind wander to. Saxon Switzerland. Saxon Switzerland is an absolute nature and hiking paradise. Since 1990, the region has been protected as a national park. Varied hiking trails with stairs, ladders, and short climbing passages lead through the fascinating rock formations of the Elba Sandstone Mountains. In between, a magnificent view awaits you again and again. Among the many hiking trails in the National Park is the Mailerweg, a multi-day trail with eight stages. But you can also explore the beautiful landscape of Saxon Switzerland on shorter hikes. For example, on a circular hike through the Schwedenlocher to the famous Bati Bridge and the rock castle Neurathen. The landmark of Saxon Switzerland, the Table Mountain Lilienstein, is also a nice destination for a hike. From the summit you have a spectacular distant view. The Harz Mountains are a unique natural paradise. The low mountain range belongs to the states of Lower Saxony, Thuringia, and Saxony. It is home to the Harz National Park with the Brocken and the Wurmberg and is considered relatively snowshore. In winter, it attracts numerous winter sports enthusiasts who like to travel to the region from the nearby cities of Berlin or Hanover, even spontaneously. The unspoiled natural landscape of the approximately 24,700 hectare nature reserve takes you on kilometer-long hikes. Instead of human souls you will meet lynxes, hares, and foxes. Dwarves, Trolls and elves are said to hide in the misty clouds that cover the moorlands in the morning. With a little luck, you'll also get to see capercailies, raccoons, wildcats or red deer. The Hartz National Park is home to the Sonnenberg Ski Resort, the Koenigshutter Waterfall and the Brocken Mountain, among others. The area is framed by towns worth seeing like Braunlage, Bad Harsberg and Wernigerod. If you want to pump your heart full of adrenaline, it beats for the Harz Mountains. The low mountain range with its climbing rocks attracts not only free climbers, but all those who like to be brave and seek their kick at dizzying heights. The range of daredevil attractions alone is breathtaking. The Berlin Reichstag The Reichstag building on Platz der Republik in Berlin is the seat of the German Bundestag. 
The building's modern glass and steel dome is one of the capital's tourist highlights. From there, visitors can literally watch the politicians in the High House and have a magnificent view over the whole of Berlin. The Reichstag dome in its current form was designed by the British star architect Sir Norman Foster. The tour is only possible with prior online registration. Due to the cleaning of the awnings, the tourist attraction is not accessible for a few days several times a year. From Berlin, it's time for Hamburg. Hamburg is Germany's number one cruise capital and one of the most attractive cruise destinations in Europe. A harbor tour in Hamburg is as much a part of a visit to Hamburg as Astra Beer is to a fish sandwich. The harbor tours through the port of Hamburg are exciting, informative and usually very funny. The harbor Hamburg, the Reeperbahn is also not far. From Hamburg we will go to Dresden. What a beautiful city with many sights. Dresden is certainly one of the most beautiful cities in Germany. Not for nothing is Dresden also called Elbflorens. The old town is teeming with historic buildings, monuments and art museums. But that is not all. Dresden's Neustadt stands in stark contrast to the old town. The trendy district is the hip nightlife area with colorful houses and lots of street art. You should concentrate on the old town first. This is where most of the sites are located. You can easily explore the old town on foot. If you want to visit several museums, I advise you to buy the day pass online. Dresden's Frauenkirch is the most distinctive landmark of Dresden, the Dresden Zwinger is still one of the most beautiful Baroque buildings in Germany. There is much to see in Dresden, a beautiful city that is looking forward to your visit. Munich is one of the most beautiful cities in Germany with great sights. On the rooftop bars of the city you can enjoy the champagne cocktails, in the beer garden next door is already tipped at noon the first mass. That's the beauty of Munich, you can have both. You should definitely check out the new town hall with its famous glockenspiel. In the tower, old figures start to turn to the music of the carillon. A peasant dance takes place. The figures are mechanically constructed. Munich has several castles, churches and historical buildings. The most famous building and at the same time the landmark of the city is the Frauenkirch. Nymphenburg Palace, you will be transported back to the time of the Bavarian monarchy. The palace with its extensive park, the promenades along the palace canal and countless fountains and fountains will make you feel like a nobleman in the Middle Ages. In the castle itself you will find magnificent rooms with impressive paintings, sculptures and stucco art. There are also several museums in the castle, including a porcelain museum. Watch the sunset in the English garden, of course, you'll get the real Munich vibe from a visit to the English garden. At the Munich Viktualienmark you can find fruit, vegetables, cheese, freshly squeezed juices and many other regional delicacies. Enjoy this little virtual trip to Germany, which site will you see first?